Google. Soldiers used to speak of a brothel, but that was north of the checkpoint. I hope the dame has friends in the south.
抽钩。Say was in these pies again. Oh, and a giant of roast head. And what can I do for you? Come back again! Saw it last time I was through the wall. With rights! With the right to confiscate any objects. I simply can't decide.
Don't find carpets like this in the capital. A moment, my lady. A moment? <laughs> I doubt you could afford even that much of my time. Branded. My mistake. No, mine. Upon reflection, you don't have the scent of a branded about you. The flowers. Otto always did know how to please me. More than Sid ever did anyway. Do you think you could please me, Clive? You're the dame. Let us leave such impersonal titles to my less preferred clientele. You can call me Isabel. Otto assured me I could trust you. I can trust you, can't I? You can trust me, yes, but why would you... Help you? Because that's what we do. Long ago, Sid did me a kindness when no one else would. I have never forgotten that. Without it, I would not be where I am today. And so, I make it a point to do the same whenever possible. Which brings us here. To the final obstacle between you and whatever it is you seek in the holy capital. I fear the guards are not likely to let a masterless bearer pass unmolested. Unless... Unless... <laughs> Unless, of course, his master deigned to appear. Yes, that will do nicely. But I shall expect a favor in return. Wait, what? Are you gonna buy something or not? What the hell are you doing? Tut tut. We cannot have people thinking I tolerate disobedience from my branded. The men who gave me this are no more my masters than you are. But, it's not as if I can hide it. From the moment you acquired it, that brand has done naught but take. But today, it is going to give you exactly what you want. Just play along. Madame, back to the vial already. But of course, we must make ready to welcome you, my dear. And who might this be? Why, my new escort. The streets aren't safe for a girl, what with all the royalists about. <laughs> well, don't work him too hard. Well, that rather depends on you now, doesn't it? I'll see you all at sunset. Oi, hold up. Another fucking branded. Oh, you're lucky you're with the dame. Now get out of my sight, filth. That wasn't so bad. Wasn't so bad. They might have recognized me. But they didn't. And even if they had, they wouldn't have done anything about it. 
The gentlemen of the garrison are some of my best customers. We have an arrangement, as do you and I. Now, if you'd care to follow me, we can speak more at the Vale. Doesn't seem like I have much of a choice. That's the day done then. Drinks and the veil. How about the veil, then drinks? What are you bleeding shit about, bearer? It's not been half a moon since Bellinus' tour. And they'd have us marching. You like that, don't you? Oh, the markets are a veritable midden, teeming with fur. Anyone requests her company, tell them she is feeling unwell. Madame, you look stunning. As do you, my dear. Shall I have one of the girls draw a bath? That won't be necessary. Clive, my darling. Welcome. To the veil. Thank you for seeing me through the gates, my lady. I am in your debt. Well, that was the whole point, wasn't it? And I told you. It's Isabel. Whatever wound you so tight, I wonder. It's certainly not Sid's influence. You, uh, mentioned a favor. What is it you'd have me do? I don't want to keep my companions waiting. If you mean Sid and the girl, you needn't worry. They have yet to reach the checkpoint. Yes, Otto asked me to help them as well. But to answer your question, I need you to find someone for me. One of my girls. Tatienne has been gone for several days now, having left no word of explanation. And I've begun to fear the worst. I feel as if I've spent my whole life searching for people. Though I can't say I'm any good at it. I trust you'll do your best. Oh, and take this. Proof of that trust, and hopefully enough to keep prying eyes from looking too closely at that handsome face of yours. Now, I have matters to attend to at the Iron Flagon. If you find anything, ask for me there. I should probably start here.
Excuse me, you there? I might have... And who... <laughs> I... And would you... Why not? Marvelous. The task... There are three... Nothing. Oh, I have... And strongly. I have, well, I have. I do. Somewhere that. Fine. This is lighter than usual. I can always. You will do. Had you been payment? Cigars. Those. It all smells so delightful. I warn you now, I don't sell to your kind. Whether you have the coin... Etienne sent me. Didn't know he? <sighs> that is no burden off my back. Uh... All this for a drink? Not just the guards, but Etienne likes... Of course. Nothing. I have it. Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> Sorry. Cigars and spirits. Someone has expensive tastes. The question is, how can they afford to maintain them? I suppose there's only one way to find out. Delightful. The dame will be pleased. You don't say. You mean the crystals? No need to be coy, my boy. Why not just... I'm honest after... And... This pipe... I didn't really... As care... I think you're... Yeah. A reward? I thank you. Sergeant's got it in for us too. As if either of us. Huh. 
Where's your commanding officer branded? Don't you know the training grounds are for real soldiers? Well, hey, you lost or something? Sorry, but the Imperial Guard's got no use for your kind. The infantry always needs more bodies, though. I'm just passing through. But I don't bloody believe it. The bastard's wearing the moon and stars. That'll be why he's strutting about like he owns the place. The dame laughed when we offered her our protection. You reckon this prick's really worth a couple of the Emperor's finest? <laughs> I dare say those ways of finding How about it? I'd rather not. Oh, no doubt. <sighs> Fine. If it'll put your mind at ease. Oh, and just so you know, I won't be holding back. I suggest you don't either. Take a moment to get ready if you need it. Wouldn't want you whining about an un... Now, let's get the measure. If that's what you want. <laughs> Cocky bastard. All right, let's be having you. Oh, and when you go crying to your mistress, Tell her it was Leon who gave you the pounding. Give me all the dirty tricks you want, Brandon. Fuck me. What the hell are you playing at, Leon? Huh. So it's a real challenge he wants, is it? Fine. Sort up, bearer. Let's have some fun, shall we? And a bearer? We're in the day's favor anyway. I know he went to hold my tongue for a start. Can I go now? Gregor's gas. The bastard didn't even break a sweat. The dame's man or no, he's still a branded. Best hope the sergeant never hears about this. Yeah, not after the bullock he gave us for missing drills. Might be the old side at a point. I'll leave you to it. Yeah, good bloody riddance. <sighs> At least we know the dame's in safe hands, I suppose. Do us a favour. If you have to tell the dame about this, tell her we got a good few hits in, eh? Second fall, maybe don't mention this to the dame. We won't want you getting into trouble for brawling now, will we? Heard the bones fell favourably. To the veil, then.
I, I don't know how a bearer came by the moon and stars, but thank goodness I found you. Can I trust you to be discreet? About what? About this. About what I wish to ask of you. About the fact that I, a humble creature, assist the Dame of the Vale in her endeavors. As unlikely All right. this time, not for contemptible and despite. Shh. Fine. Oh, here. What food I can three it's tragic. Be dis you will be I'm afraid. Crystal's curse is bad enough. We can't let people starve as well. Greetings. You are one of the dame's chosen, I see. From the Chamberlain. Thank you. You need to leave. Branded! Who told you to arrest? Stole those damn flames! And you. Are you waiting for it to heal on its own? Hurry up! Looks like now's not the time. Like you need a rest. Not half as much as I need this. Thank you. I don't eat it here, though. Not where anyone might see. Has it always been this bad? Oh, it was worse before the Chamberlain. I'd be dead without him. Me and many others. That's something at least. Time if you know what's good for you. Here, yeah. it looks like you need it. The Chamberlain must have sent you, but alas, my work is far from over. If I don't go now, they'll beat me. You need to rest. But I won't. I've wounds to heal and bones to mend. And what of your own hurts? They'll wait. That's all my hunger. Thank you, though. A drover has more regard for his cattle than the Empire does its bearers. Anyway. I'd better head to the veil. Oh, the market's already there. I have 
haven't seen you around the Vale of late. All right. Are you here for business or pleasure? Business, though not my own. The Chamberlain put me to work delivering food. Ah, so he found someone to help him then. Just as well, I hear his friends back at court have been taking a little too much interest in him of late. So he really is a Chamberlain? There was a time when he was the Vow's most illustrious customer. Us girls thought of him as a generous uncle. He was one of the only people round here who seemed bothered. Rep. Uh, my gives you so. I. the dame's brooch. She must trust you. Enough to have me look for one of your colleagues. A woman by the name of Tatienne. She's still missing then. Oh, if only I'd comforted her. You saw her before she disappeared? The day before. She was in tears. She'd lost her comb. A gift from the dame. It wasn't anything fancy, but you could tell it meant the world to her. You see, Tatienne was an orphan, and she looked upon the dame as a mother. As do we all. So she was upset. And I didn't lend her much older. But perhaps someone else did. Tatian shared a room. Her chambermate may have seen something. She's over there, sitting by the pond. Thank you. Let's see what her chambermate can tell us then. So you're the new escort the girls have been talking about. And you've already been sent off on an errand, eh? Poor boy. You'll be knackered before the real work begins later on tonight. I'm... told you share a bedchamber with Tatienne. Did she... say anything to you... before? Before she went missing. Only that she needed to meet with someone. She did mention a name. But I know exactly who she meant. You do? Lad from the garrison. Annoying little shit. Spent every gill he earned on Tatienne, and picked fights with anyone else who tried to buy her time. Followed her around like a lost puppy. Tatienne was flattered at first, but it didn't take long for her to get scared. She thought about saying something. This man from the garrison. Did you ever see him? Of course I did. He tried to sneak into our room enough times. Slimy sod's got a scar over one eye. Claims he got it in battle. You've been very helpful. Don't let him get away with this. Find him. And... A man from the garrison. Seems a trip to the barracks. It's an order. The bones fell favorably. To the veil, then, is it? I'm looking for a man with a scar over his eye. Looking for a man? Does this look like a brothel, Brandon? Fuck off! Hold your tongue. He wears the dame's brooch. One word from him, and the veil's doors will be barred to us for good. <sighs> There's only one man in the garrison with a dodgy eye. His name's Yannick. I haven't seen him around lately, though. On account of him being in war. Yeah, yeah, Yannick left a few days back. Said he had dealings with a merchant there. The dame, thank you. Moor is the last village on the road to Oriflam. I should let Isabel know where I'm headed. You bear good tidings. That remains to be seen.
Oh, Tatiana, you could have told me. This Yannick. The soldiers I spoke to believe he's in the village of Moor. According to them, he claimed to have some business with a merchant there. Though that wouldn't explain his continued absence. And you plan on traveling to Moor to ascertain the truth? Isn't that what you want? Oh, it, it is, but I fear sending you there may cause more harm than good. The people of Moor are rather set in their ways. You'll find they have little love for bearers, and they will not hesitate to report one such as you to the constabulary. There is a man in Moor who owes me a favor, more than one, in fact. His name is Bertrand, and he works at the stables. Tell him I send you. I shall return as soon as I find something. The day may have given you leave to walk freely about Northridge, but one step outside these walls, and you're just another branded, with a target on his back. These crystals here are for citizens only. There's none for the likes of you.
What are you uh, playing at? Get him, boy.
sick of Togo. Get him. Don't let them get away. not getting any fresher. That's the day done then. Oh, the markets are up. Suffer to keep your granaries full. Sick of total. Don't let them get away. Keep your distance. 
boy.
Back to the pens we are. I need you fit for the morrow's harvest. Something's not right here. I need to be careful. But the wolf! It's going to eat me! What if I can help it? You're supposed to die! Father will have you whipped for this! Bearers aren't supposed to win, they never win! What is this? Your father said you were being attacked. You're not supposed to talk. Stop looking at me like that, we were only having fun. Having fun? Why are you still speaking? Father will hear of this! work, no doubt. But it's not the wolf that's to blame. Someone needs to put an end to this, before it happens again. My son. You slaughter his poor pet and then have the gall to return, head held high. That wolf was trained. Better trained by far than your worthless kind. You are the entertainment, nothing more. And we are most certainly not entertained. Nor am I. You'll pay for what you've done. See? I told you, he talks too much. It's not right. I don't like him, father. You're not the branded I bought, are you? How dare you deceive me? Well, the sins of the slave are the sins of the master. Go! Summon the unlucky wretch you answer to. That unlucky wretch would be the dame. I can summon her if you like. Though I doubt she would welcome the interruption. You, uh, you, um, serve the dame? Why would a woman of her caliber... 
You look afraid. Well, how do you think those bearers in the field felt? Can you imagine their fear? Their pain? From the look of you, I'd say you're starting to get an idea of the first. Now, if you need help with the second... Father, he's scaring me. You think to threaten us, Branded? The dame's pet or no, I, I will not abide such insolence. Can't we just buy another hound? A bigger one? A better one? Of course, my son. I'll have the villagers fetch us another. With jaws powerful enough to nip this Branded's head clean off his shoulders. I'm wasting my time, but I can't just leave those bearers lying out there. They deserve a proper burial. That much I can do, at least. How many bearers have lost their lives to this nobleman's sport? Victims of the nobles' games. You must be Clive. How do you know my name? The Dame. I'm in her service, like yourself. Never gets any easier, burying the dead. Is that what you're here to do? The mistress has me see to it the none left of the crows. Since you're here. Gladly. Burden finally be lifted. I take it you slew the nobleman's pet? I did. Now I expect they'll find another soon enough. How can they? Simple. There is a tool still. Invite one into your home, it's gonna tear your throat out eventually. Same with bearers. Fared or not, they don't lack for fangs. What will folk do when they bite back, I wonder? The realm's less two murderous bastards, and I won't mourn the loss. Here. For their help. You don't have to. Take it. You never know. Our paths may cross again. Till then. I can't prop in that case. Let's not keep her waiting. That's a lot of field to search. With a little luck, someone might have seen her. You 
work these fields? I need to ask you something. Hmm. A branded. And an outsider at that, judging by the lack of manners. Why should I help you, eh? You tell me that. Because a girl from the village asked me to find her pet. Chloe. Have you seen her? Chloe, is it? Ah, oh, little Lisette's clay thing. Last I saw, the filthy creature was sniffing about the windmill. That girl's old enough to know she... The windmill. Off with you now. Interruption. The Crystal's Curse. Chloe, I was calling you. Didn't you hear me? What? Get up now. You've slept long enough. It's time to go home. Chloe? Well, why did you already turn into a rock? I only made you do a bit of magic. You knew you were my favorite. None of the other Chloes had pretty hair. It could be months before Dad gives me another one. I have to wait until they're too tired to work anymore. Is that all she was to you? A plaything? Do you really not care that she's dead? She's not dead. She's a rock. That? The Crystal's Curse? That's just how she died. And now she's gone forever. Giving another bearer her name won't change that. No. Don't, don't say that. It's true. And without that brand, she would have been just another girl. Somebody's daughter. Just like you. But Dad said... Bearers don't have parents. They do. Parents that give them away. Families they'll never see again. But you became Chloe's family when you took her in. Remember that. And remember her. I... If the people of Moor are as intolerant as Isabel says, 
It's no wonder the Empire never sent my unit here. What do you want? That's what you want. Bertrand. The dame sent me. Sounds about right. Only time I hear from her is when she wants something. Well, go on then. What is it? One of her courtesans has gone missing, and I need to find her. A soldier who may have information on her whereabouts is rumored to have come here to meet with a trader. Many traders stop to peddle their wares on their way to the... But only... Is he still here? The trader, if you seek him out... Fact is, fuck when that's even with understood. What's this? A branded? Where's your master? Must I call for the constable? I come to you from Northreach, at the behest of the dame. Perhaps you've heard of her. Oh, why, of course I have. I am the good lady's servant. Oh, oh, what is it that she... Rumor has it you were seen arguing with a soldier some few days ago. Uh, yes, he had a comb which he <laughs> claimed was an antique. Said he wanted to trade it for a newer one. But 
old though it was, an antique it most certainly was not, as I told him. And if I stood for... And do you know where he went after that? My customers aren't... My thanks. Not... To... have been busy, but the blood is long dry. So it is you, Tatian. If that's true, then the body next to hers will be Yannick's. The girl Yannick went off to sea every night. He said her name was Tatian. You. Did you follow me? No, why would I do that? Unless you think I'd have good reason to. But no. I was sent to find Yannick. And by the looks of things, I have. We both found who we were searching for. Yeah, he was a jealous sod. Couldn't stand the thought of his woman with someone else. Then one day he sees her with a new comb. Thinks she's got herself a new galant. Tells the garrison he's going to find the man and kill him. We know it's all talk, but then he disappears off to Moor for some dealings and doesn't come back. If you mean this comb, it was a gift from the dame. <laughs> if only Yannick could bother to ask, eh? He might not be rotting on a hill. I think he meant to ask her something else. He stole the old comb and bought her a new one. In the hope they'd wed. Wed? Where would they have gone? Certainly not back to Northreach with a dame waiting. And we all know what happens to deserters. Tell the dame I'm sorry for her loss. When the lads come to collect Yannick's body, I'll see that Tatian is delivered to the Vale. Is that wise? Oh, there won't be any covering up this mess. The most we can hope for is that the dame doesn't hold it against us. Speaking of which... I saw her in Moor just now. Could you tell her what happened? Might sound better coming from you. I need to tell Isabel. Perhaps the comb will give her something to remember Tatty and by.
Weren't expecting any new brand. If it was a message that needed delivering, I could have seen to it, lady. You are still in one piece, I see. You will be pleased to hear that your companions have arrived. They said they would meet you at a little chapel to the east of here. Thank you, but you need to have come all this way just to tell me. I was on my way to see you. You... you found her then? Common for a client to fall for a courtesan. Especially a client who's young and far from home. But rarely do such tales have happy endings. I found this with Tatien. I believe it was yours. on her pyre. I should go. Before you do, I have one last gift. A token of my thanks. The veil counts among its patrons several high-ranking officers of the Imperial Army. According to one of the looser-tongued gentlemen, it would appear that the legions are planning to march south. Or to mention the same thing. Ah. But did he mention that it was all of the legions? This is no mere skirmish. Were I to guess, I'd say the Emperor planned to abandon the capital. But that couldn't possibly be true now, could it? Take care, Clive. I will. And thank you again. After it. It amuses me that Sid would choose a chapel for your rendezvous. There never was a more unrepentant soul in all the realm. Dame said you would be coming. Your friends are waiting at the chapel atop the hill. Go now.
Any trouble on the way? None worth mentioning. As I was telling Jill, it's worse than I thought. The capital's crawling with soldiers. And here I am, the deserter come home. Which is why we'll be taking the back door. Cheer up, you two. Can't think of a safer place in the Empire than it. Mm. Brothel. Mm. Really? Doesn't seem very private. So then, how do we proceed? We'll be using the glass gate. Tonight, just after sunset. Where the shards are loaded for transport. That is one of the most heavily guarded points in all of Sambrek. But not the most, which is a start. Besides, I know a shortcut straight to the heart. A shortcut? And how exactly did you come to know about this? fatal chink in the Empire's armor. Let's just say I may have attempted something similar before. And may have ended up running for dear life after being discovered by Bahama, but that's not important. Sid, if the Mother Crystals truly are the cause of the Blight... If? You wound me, Dill. What I'm trying to say is... If the powers that be know all of this, why do they sit idle and allow it to continue? In case you haven't noticed, the God-fearing people of this realm and their pious leaders care for but one thing, themselves. And they'll do whatever it takes to hold on to power. The rest of us are just a means to an end. The moment you raise your voice against them, you're decried as an outlaw, clapped in irons and slung in a cell to rot. An outlaw. Whoever controls the crystals controls the realm. But our kind can wield magic without them. To our rulers, we must seem the most convenient of tools. And the most dangerous. But what makes them think they have the right to use us? To leave us to die when our bodies are spent? Does a nobleman weep for a broken mug? A torn tunic? Our fate means nothing to them. No, this isn't a battle you can win with words. Believe me, I've tried, but nothing ever gets through. The world is simply not ready to listen. So to hell with talking. If they won't give us a say, we'll decide our fates another way. You can't blame a man for wanting to bring an end to all this, can you? I can't. But what of all the people you mean to rob of their comforts? Are you happy for them to call you outlaw? Sid the Outlaw. Ah, that'll do me. Might at least pretend to take this seriously. Have a little faith, Jill. Even if you don't think much of my choice of digs. If it means my deeds will be remembered, I'll gladly play the role of villain. But first, we have a gate to crash. And once we're in, there'll be no turning back. Best mate ready. The world won't save itself.
purse. What? Coin purse weighing you down? And what do you want? Second in it. And to sweeten the... Coin purse weighing you down. Finished, are you? Well, I that look. You got anything? I'm saying for you, dear. I heard Otto barking at his lot earlier. Didn't sound happy. There are not nearly enough men here. Then it's fortunate the city guard doesn't take sentry assignment as seriously as you do. This bodes well. Hmm. I'll be a first. This may not be such a terrible plan after all. And what exactly is that supposed to mean? Only that your last secret shortcut was nowhere near as secret as you claimed. Yeah, but that's half the fun of it. Life's too short for perfect plans. You want a plan that'll keep you on your toes, stop you growing old and complacent. Worked for you, has it? Clive, my boy. Even life's smallest challenges offer the opportunity to grow and to change. You must embrace these moments. Allow them to suffuse your heart with a deep sense of fulfillment. <sighs> Narrowly escaping death at the hands of an enemy is not my idea of fulfillment. Hmm. Something wrong? Not at all. Just wondering if the two of you had finished. Right. We make for the Mother Crystal's heart as planned. Destroy it and the whole thing should come tumbling down. And if the passage to the Inner Sanctum is guarded? Then we embrace the moment and use it to grow and change. Obviously. Don't worry, the pass.
You can take. Sanctum, so shut your gob and keep your eyes open. Never stood a chance. You're welcome. The main tunnel. That would be my guess. There are sentries everywhere. All good things must come to an end. We might have a bit more company from now on.
Captain! Two arms! Intruders! Summon the cannoneer! At once! talking about earlier. What have we here? More insects come to be squashed. You will find my mortar and I only too happy to oblige. You're a talker. Then let's shut him up.
Plastic or no, he was still a man. A man who drowned in ether. It's no way for anyone to go. Come on. Guard duty's a death sentence in this place. Not that Sylvester cares. Odds, but I'd rather not find out what he's done to everyone else.
Doesn't look that far. Right. I used to be. I'll take that as a thank you. Look on the bright side. At least you won't get lost.
over here. Sick of Toggle. You know what to do, boy. See, they replaced that wooden door with something a little more sturdy. On the count of three. Three. What happened to two? Ask one. Once more. That was going to keep us out. The mother crystal's just up ahead. Is it? I can't see a thing. Unless someone's moved it.
there's no one about. I knew it would be big. But this... There. That's our way into the inner sanctum. You'd think they'd have patched that up by now. Sorry, state the Empire's in. Wait. You don't mean... Hide and seek with Bahama ended here. A tragic cost to this remarkable architecture. Don't blame me, he started it. But how did he make it out alive? I walked. You should try it. Gate be here in the mines. There are two places connected somehow.
When I was in the Imperial Army, soldiers assigned to the Glass Gate would tell stories about something they called the Guardian. Can't say I saw anything like that when I was last here. Then again, I can't say I made it this far. Let's just be careful then. Where did that come from? If I had to guess... Poor beast. Another victim of the Flood.
Are you all right? Fine. The inner tanks and lights just beyond. Chances are the palace guard knows we're here. We should move. Not that any sane commander would send his men into a place awash with this much ether. Clive. Hmm. If this all works, and the blessing fades, things are likely to get worse for our kind before they get better. Being the last to wield ether will make our talents that much more sought after. By which I mean, hunted. I just hope, in the end, They'll see that we didn't have any other choice. That it was the only way to get us to a better place. And here I was thinking I was the uncertain one. Luckily, two out of three of us have faith in you. Then it all starts here. Time to earn that menacing title. Sid the Vicious, was it? to the end, Sid. Then what are we waiting for? Beautiful. The heart of Sam Brack. Well, that didn't work. 
I think we're gonna need a bigger sword. Mine's bigger. Thank you, Clive. But I meant that figuratively. The core's clearly made of sterner stuff. Tyra's going to have a fit when she hears about this. Stand back. It's about to get cracked today. been here before.
case in yours.
Enjoy your nap. You're wounded. This is some here scrap. All right, the hole. We'll we'll find you a healer. Here. No, you won't. I know who you are, and if you think, I'm gonna let you have him. Think again. Try not to talk. <sighs> Clive. For so long, I thought I had all the answers. But then I met you. And I learned it wasn't a good death we should be fighting for. But a better life. It's all very well, a man reclaiming his fate. But if he can't choose how he meets it, what's the point? So, I made a choice.
sorry, Clive. Had I arrived but a moment sooner. Do you remember me, boy? I saw you protect them. That was very brave. I know you're there. Ultima. You have learned our name. What else have you learned, Phoenix? My travels have revealed much about you and your ambitions. I know that it was you who tore me from my brother. And I know that it is his power that you seek. But know this, if you want him, you'll have to go through me. Very well. Breath of mine ancestors, fill these lungs that I may dispel the songs of suffering. A disturbance. This is getting us nowhere. We agree. No more games, Phoenix. We are come to claim our vessel. And I said no. can harm you. But to protect my brother, I don't have to.
must must fail Lord Cook again! My shit! Are all fucking dead! Help us! Where is he? Ah, you'll do! Ah! It is not among the dead. Shall I send a Stolas? Silks from the master weavers of Randela. Come, come, feel its softness. Drop a nice steak, gift to your wife's sausage, all from greens fed farm birds. None of the old courses you'll find elsewhere. Here, take a bite. I've got peppers and peas, beans and beets. If it goes in a pot, I've got the love. Curatives, restoratives, uncle, you like that? It's all fresh. This very morning. Restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices, palmatives, curatives, restoratives. Unguents, ointments, poultices. Might I interest you in a potion, my lady? Perhaps soothing salve to ease the aches of crow? Wish you well, but may the mothers guide you. Palmatives, curatives, restoratives, unguents, ointments, poultices. Palmatives, curatives, Good to see you, Sid. What have we learned? The bearers are locked up in an old courthouse on the edge of town. And I hardly need tell you who is there to make sure they stay that way. Kuka's private guard. It's a trap. And not a very good one at that. Another? What does he hope to gain from this? I'll have the captives free before nightfall. You do nothing of the sort! Our comrades didn't give their lives for you to get your throat slit in a god's forsaken slum. So those in the courthouse should be left to suffer? That's not what I said. I simply meant it doesn't have to be you who frees them. You're as stubborn as the old Sid was. Just don't say I didn't warn you. You're Sid now, and if anything happens to him, we're finished.
Lise, we don't know anything. You have to believe us. We'd help you if we could. But you're helping us already. <laughs> Forgive him, my lord. He did not mean to offend. Quiet, you! No sign of Hugo. I'll wager he thinks as highly of his minions' traps as we do. Then this should be easy. Don't hurt us! I beg of you! Quiet means quiet, branded scum! <laughs> It's going to be all right. I'm here to even up. Any objections? It's him! The outlaw! Sit here! Senses with guards. They brought a pet.
this they'll tell Hugo let them there's been more than enough bloodshed for one day Murderer. All of our friends are dead because of you. Do you hear me? They used us as bait. Bait to lure you out of your stinking hole, all because you couldn't just let things be. What are you even doing here? We never asked to be saved. Did you think we'd thank you? They'll never forgive us. We're all marked now. For five years we fought to secure a better life for our kind. To see that we are treated as equals. Do you not want that? What we want is to be left alone. Every time you show your faces, it is we who suffer. It's all right. I'm sorry. Just leave us be. This is our home, and this is where we'll stay. Sid told us this wouldn't be easy. They'll come round. If you say so. We should go. That night five years ago, we destroyed what for many was a symbol of hope, for a reason they'll never know. We cannot blame them for thinking us the cause of their misery. Though it's to give them a better tomorrow, they see only that we've made their lives harder today. Yet the boil must be lanced if it is to heal. I can't help but wonder if we've made the right choice. 
When Sid said that he wanted to create a world where we were free. Free to choose our own path. I honestly don't think it mattered to him if that choice was right or wrong. Only that it was our own. I miss him. <laughs> a world where we can live and die as equals. That's what he wanted. What we want. And that's why I bear his name. It's why we've all chosen to bear his legacy. And I'm not going to let anything stand in our way. Right over, lovebirds. Home sweet home. Otto was asking after you. Let's go and see him. Never a dull moment.
Last I saw, he was in the mess, as always. Welcome back, sir. Finish with that log so we can call it a war. Again! I see schoolboys swing harder! Otto will want to know what happened in Kostnis. I expect he'll be in the mess. You look like you could do with a drink. How am I getting on? Ah, oh, but and it'd be worth I'm telling you. Don't be a stranger, Sid. to run out of potions while you're away, did you? We've a fine selection of tonics and tink uh, tinctures. Uh, oh, perhaps you'd be interested in some new accoutin... Uh, uh, couldn't... Um... Gear. And what can I do for you? We won't hear naked. The only drug... Still... I remember it like it was yesterday. You're our leader now, Clive. Go on, then. Blind, you know.
Come again. I do. Well done. I I'm not much bothered either way. Well, don't just stand there gawping. Coin purse weighing you down. Price than that. Come again. Oh, don't. I'm not much bothered either way. Good while. 